Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys a deal that we did in the office. We actually did a trade this time, which was pretty interesting. And uh, it, his name is Ray, and it's his birthday. So if you want to wish Ray a happy birthday, please do that down in the comments below. But he brought some stuff in from his collection. We got stuff from our inventory. We met together, and we uh, did our best to make a deal. And so we're just going to show you guys how everything works for us in the office with a trade. And we hope it brings a lot of uh, light and clarity to you and so we're actually going to be showing you guys the giveaway for this video which is going to be uh, just a one ounce bar here this is a Johnson Matthey one ounce bar that we actually got from this deal today and if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway make sure to just uh, comment your thoughts on the video say something nice about the video say something nice about what was going on um, what you think of the video uh, make sure to like and comment and subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. We just want to give you guys as much information as possible. We ended up buying 90%, 40% GSAs, silver. So a lot to unpack in this video. We hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. But yeah, so I'm looking to kind of, you know, upgrade my collection. Okay. So I brought some stuff that we talked about, but I also got some for you to take a look at the gold. Yeah, um, absolutely. So to keep it simple, I brought 10 of them and they're all in the little case. So like you said, you know, you can take a look at it, but including the three dollar. But okay. these aren't certified. Alrighty. And so I wanted to get your opinion on, you know, do you think it'd be worth certifying them or what? So Yeah, it's a good um, thing to ask for sure. Okay. And then yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. And then like I said, I'm I'm kind of in the process of doing, you know, like just upgrading the collection, you know. So um I brought, you know, some this has the I guess the Kennedys in here, right? The silver Kennedys. Well, you mind if Casey takes a look at those while we're yeah. working through everything? Sure. And, or we want to work on his first or show him our stuff? What do you want to do for yeah. this? Completely up to Ray and what he wants to do. But I'm going to have this here for you, Casey. Just so, because sometimes it's hard to yeah. mix everything all together and then you yeah, don't want to do true. that. Yeah, that's true. How do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we uh, can show you our stuff first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then make a decision and then we can see where there we go. Yeah, so these are all the GSAs you were asking about, and I have both the Rattlers as well for you in this Rattler box. Okay. They should all have uh, box and COAs with them. Oh, okay, cool. So. I was wondering about that, because this one was labeled, and the others I noticed weren't labeled, so I'm like, uh oh yeah, that one might not have a COA because that one just looks like a, a uh, filler yeah, COA. Yep. Yeah. What, what year is That's it? That's a three. A 78 CC, which I don't know if you've seen that one yet. That one's pretty tough to um, run into. So when I got offered it, I was like, man, we gotta we gotta try it out and buy it. And if we can make a little bit of something on it, that'd be great. <laughs> you know, so just gotta find you, a, you know, 79 CC GSA, you know. Yeah. 65 yeah. CAC or something, you know. <laughs> Yeah. How many kidneys do you want to give? Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, and all I would do in these, if you're interested in one or the other, I just let you know what our, you know, our best would be, and then I just sticker it for you, type of thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes there's some that jump out. Sometimes there's some that just, you know, don't jump out at you. So it kind of depends on when you look at them in person and get an opinion of them and everything. Yeah. 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 And then, okay. Yeah, these look really good. The rattlers yeah, for you. The rattlers. yeah, this one I noticed you've had out there for a while. I was looking at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That one I'd probably just sell at my cost on that one, just because I've had it for a while. And if it's something that you might need, then great. And if it's something that doesn't interest you or you don't like, that's okay too. But um, I wanted to bring it because you asked for it. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I keep buying these, but I keep. <laughs> it's an addiction, right now. Yeah, these look good. These look good. Okay. <clears throat> How much for your little box? <laughs> um, I'm just going to throw it in. So oh, really? With the deal, yeah. The, oh, they yeah, actually right. remade these, uh, the, the insert for this one. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is 3D printing. So yeah. some guy just said, hey, do you want this box? And I'm like, maybe uh, Ray could use this box. So I just brought the box for you. So in case Oh, you awesome. Yeah, because actually, ironically, I don't... They don't fit right, you know, and right. everything. And so I have a special, uh, uh, what is this, the intercept one that you just kind of, you know, set them side by side. 
but I'm concerned with them rubbing. Yeah. So I was looking at the 3D printing options, right, that they had. Yeah. That was out there, but I haven't gotten anything. So yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, my yeah. pleasure. You want to talk about pricing on these first for you, and then just let then uh, agree yeah. on that okay. possibly. And, sure. Um, this one. I think I paid 65 for it. I would sell it for 75 I think it's on the website for 90 Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good problem. Yeah, I did pay $500 for the 78cc. Not sure if that's something that you want to pay for it, but that's uh, I'd, I'd like to get that back out of it if possible. Okay. Um, here's that for you. If it's, uh, if it's not for you, that's okay, and uh, no worries, but that's kind of what I have in it. Yeah, let me think on that one now. But that one's... I like it though. Yeah. Okay. 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 We'll take a look at these here for you. Um, I have 1100 into the 78 CC. Um, it's listed on our website for 1250. I could do 1175 for you. Um, and that's the the one that I found. The only one that I found with my great collections that sold for 1222. And after um, basically after buyer's premium, it's 1375 is what it sold for. Okay. So okay. 1175 is what I do for this one. I'm going to put a sticker on the back just in case. Now this, uh, this I believe it's the dimple. I have 425 in it. It's on our website for 475. I'd make $25 at 450, so I put that on there for you. Okay, okay. And that is the um, 83 or take a quick look here. It's the 84 and 62 dimple. Okay. Yeah, 62. Yeah, okay. Then we have uh, the 83 cc and 63 dimple. I paid 4 uh, 95 for it. I would take a 520 for that one. I'll just it's on our website for 550. And that one is again. It's just the 83 cc and uh, 63 dimple. 63. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This uh, 62 proof like I would sell for uh, 360 for you. Okay. Which is kind of about what maybe 64s or 63s are selling for that are not proof like. Okay. So I like the coins. The I like the um, the ones that uh, I guess that that you guys are selecting on the website, right? Yeah. You know, you, you select some very nice coins. So yeah. Cool. You know, that well, look good. That'll look good. It's just something for you to think about for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Do you want to delve into the other stuff real quick? Yeah. Yeah. So I got. So what I have here, so this is more the bullion stuff, right? Okay. Uh, over here. So these are the, the quarters, the grab a few more trays What you call it? The bars, right? You know, mm -hmm. all those pieces. And then, uh, and then these are the, the halves. I separated them. These are the um, what is it? The the forty percent, right? And the thirty percent. So you have all those. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to take a look at these are like the bars and the Perfect. And then just uh, pretty much the only thing I, I altered from what I sent you before, I did go ahead and bring an extra roll of each of these. Okay. I dug into the safe and found <laughs> an extra roll of each. So I'm like, I'm just going to put those in there. Um, you win some auctions? Is that what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, um, of course. And uh, one of the things that I, I pick them up online, you know, or yeah, buy it at different auctions. Um, and I buy. Uh, and that's what a lot of these, I don't really buy the bullion per se, right. but I often get it as part of deals, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? And so I try to focus more on the collector coins. And so what I've been doing is I will, um, in a sense, take, you know, take some profit, right? You know, right. off of these over time. That makes sense. And then uh, you help, that helps me fund my upgrading of my collection. So That's a yeah. good thing to think about. Yeah. yeah. So I have been doing it with gold. And so that, of course, worked out very well for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, we're all sitting pretty in gold right now. So, uh, but yeah, it's just hard to buy now. That's the thing. But yeah. yeah, we just wish we had more when exactly. the time was right. Yeah. And then on the, the collector ones I have, so speaking of that, so I do have these. Okay. Is that pen for you? It's another pen. Ooh, and that one. Okay. So I know on most of these uh, CCs and 62, 63, 60, I mean, mainly 62s and 63s, they're kind of uh, hard for, harder for me to sell, but um, I know that a guy locally will pay me 275 for uh, CCs and I normally buy them at like 260. So I make 15 bucks, I get an order together, um, 
And most of the time, if I listed this on the website for 300 bucks, it might sell, but that's kind of where, if I paid 260, I'd sell it for probably 275, just because I do have probably like 30 GSAs at home that are all more common dates. So um, I can write a sticker on there, have you think about it. If it's something that doesn't work, that's okay, but I, I just want to let you know what I pay for it, um, just because there's so many out there, pretty much. But. Can you go 270 on them? Um, and just just for reference, um, are these all common dates too? Yeah, so one's a 63 uh, okay. certified, uh, and then the others are non-certified uh, GSAs, right? But those, uh, it's one 1883 and the other two are 1884. Oh, that makes sense. Or three are 1884. Yeah, so the majority of them are 1884. CCs. Yeah, if I, I mean, if I bought them all, would you do like two sixty-five a piece and make ten dollars a piece on them? Is that okay? Just because I'm buying five of them and add to the stash, I kind of like I said. I, sometimes you have to create a, a time where yeah. you have a margin yeah. to send them all because shipping costs and everything else. But I'll just do two seventy to make it easy for you, and it's okay. I'm okay with that. So okay, yeah, if you could do that, that would. That'd be nice. It's just uh, early birthday presents, you know. Just got my coming, you know? <laughs> Good thing I mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. I'm just going to put stickers on every one of them, and then at the end, we're going to have you count them, have Casey count them, and um, just so that sometimes uh, we walk we walk out of shops and they accidentally give us a few hundred dollars because they didn't add it right, and Casey adds yeah. it in the car. And I just don't want that to happen, so. Yeah, so I've been trading like this a few times and so that's kind of like I have a spreadsheet right and then I go over it again and again because I've done the same thing where I found something else and I put it in there and I mistakenly came with you know a different set of coins <laughs> that I thought I did right? right and it's no one's fault but my own right you know because I was going through it you know not paying sense. attention <laughs> so yeah you know, I, I see how that happens too many coins that's what you're saying I just got too many great coins around <laughs> so. so these are ones yeah just take a look at them there okay. that, that I've picked up over the years uh, locally. Most of those I paid melt for uh, or close to melt. Okay. Uh, so um, I don't have a lot into them. Um, and so I kind of just kept them around. But with the price of them going up so, right, I'm wondering, should I... You know, consider them. To, you know, to get you know, because some of them are obviously cleaned, right? Right. So but I, I think, like little staple scratches on them. And yeah, yeah. So there, um, there was a little um, like a, a jewelry store, right? That what he would do is he would take the he'd buy gold coins if you brought them in, right? To help fund like wedding rings and stuff. Okay. And then he would call me and says, "Hey, you know, I got a coin if you want to buy it." You know, so I out. So I get a lot of I got a lot of them from him. That makes sense. Um, and because uh, he was just he just wanted the cash right it's helping people out just as soon as you can get rid of it yeah that worked so, out for so that worked out for me um but you know now i'm thinking i mean i don't know i mean do i want to you know is it worth it right or is it worth you know better just hanging on to them for now you know and and kind of figuring it out you know later right you don't want to go to get rid of it just you know let somebody else do it if they want to do it yeah that makes sense because I know most times um, when you look at some of these that have been harshly cleaned, yeah, there are different numbers out there that basically indicate what they would pay for them. Yeah, and uh, there's some that in here that look pretty decent. Decent, yeah. yeah look like they might pass, like an yeah. AU or something. Or so some I did pick up, you know, around like at uh, you know the coin shows, right, and right. stuff. So yeah, you can you can obviously tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so these, I mean, I kind of made a pile where okay. most of the time it would hover around melt, like some that are just so harshly cleaned that, or have scratches or uh, have been polished, another one that's been polished, yep. and those most of the time are, you know, basically around melt, so most of the time I just tell people if they're not, there's no premium, sometimes just hold the goal and hold it. enjoy yep. it, you know, right. yep. and there's some other things, like I think this, this pile you should just send just to do it, because I know that... You know, if you're selling them raw, sometimes someone goes, well, yeah. you know, melts this and that, but I think two and a half Indians, um, you know, two and a half libs and under, those have numismatic premium, even if they're in details holders. So okay. um, those I would definitely submit. 
And a three dollar gold piece every day of the week you should <laughs> submit because yeah. um, they made fakes so you know there's so many fakes and they made them so well that people basically would pay tens you know tens of thousands of dollars for great looking ones or they pay thousands of dollars for better dates that were fake and what do you think of the three dollar I mean it it looks good right I mean there's nothing glaring or any of those right that yeah I think it looks good yeah. I mean I the problem is, is that when I look at them, every one it's of them looks good. It's a little too good, right? <laughs> Which, you know, that makes you nervous, right? You yeah. Know, a lot of them are are fine, extra fine. That one's, that one's looking a little too good. It's like, uh, it's definitely hovering in the AU range, but yeah. sometimes when you're looking at uh, $3 gold pieces, which this one actually might be fake just based on that, um, there's kind of like this weird uh, spackling look all around the edges so um, if you take a look at it it might be hard for you to see I'm not saying it's a definite fake but somebody said when you look out for it um, so if you kind of take a look at the devices uh -huh. like out in the fields by the word you can see kind of like a spackling smoothing over um, of in imperfections okay and that sometimes is basically like they made it now they had to smooth out the fields and then they had to you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Some form of Because sometimes what happens when they're reproducing them to sell as fakes, they have like little grainy spots in the okay. fields because they didn't make them as nice as the mint did, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, they would have to smooth them out, basically reheat the metal, smooth it out, or uh, flatten it out like what you're kind of seeing on there. But okay. um, I definitely submit it either way because, you know, it doesn't really... Yeah. Doesn't really matter. It's good to get. So, what about one of them had like a toning on it? Did you see that? I mean, uh, the one that this 1880 here. Yeah. What do you What do you think? I mean, is that normal? I mean, I thought that was kind of odd because I don't think that spot was on there when I initially purchased it. But I was digging in the <coughs> safe and I noticed it looks like it developed. So I thought that was kind of odd. I've never seen a, a spot on a gold coin like that. Yeah. Most of the time, you know, gold is super hard to find toned if it hasn't been cleaned before. So even coins that are like mint state that PCGS passed with like nice red velvet toning it's because someone used a chemical on it to basically yeah. bring out that yeah, color exactly and what happened to this coin is someone harshly harshly dipped it yeah. and it basically changed the changed the color on the coin a little bit to look like that really flat yellowish and it had that orange spot come out so yeah that one I think it's just been harshly cleaned and then retoned comes back that's you know. what I was wondering I think it was a result of picking them up from a jewelry store kind of thing yeah I mean, <laughs> it, you know I obviously it's buy them all day long that's what yeah. I would say you know if you get them for the right price I buy them all day long so <laughs> okay that's Thank just you. my two cents on those Is, are these just kind of BU Kennedy yeah or something? these are BU um, quarters okay yep and then these are the um, 40 40 percent cool yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty nice. Um, they look like it. The, the 64s are nice. These aren't quite as nice, but those I picked up um, from uh, uh, like a, a, what is it? It's a, a gold buyer, right? Yeah. So one of those that uh, just, you know, you go in and you can, you know, take your gold and, and sell it. And, and I shop around in different cities, uh, and I went to one of them, and he had just picked up, this guy brought in, you know, bag loads of them. Hmm. And they looked really nice, and so I bought them all of them that he had. So that's how I, I picked it up. Wow. But they're like all fresh break rolls. Yeah, so the quarters are, are pretty good too. So what you're seeing is, you know, over time, like I said, I've been upgrading my collection, right? right. So I got rid of the, the lower end stuff first, right? And so this is some of the, it's a little better, right? Then it's not something that, you know, that. It's close to. Coal circulated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. These are a little nicer. They're just not as good dates. I kept the better dates, you know, the, the 40s, the 50s, and 30s. S mints and stuff. Yeah, Some, but those, you know. those are, I, I had to throw in a few 50s just to kind of even out the, the count, right? right? So there's a few in there, but mainly 60s and, you know. It's not uh, too bad. But they're all decent coins, right? So they're not just, yeah, junk. Yeah, I know based on what, um, probably what would be used I probably would be at about 21 so if, uh, for 90% I'd be at 21 times face and anything like these some of them are been cleaned and impaired and yeah. some those would be basically 20 times face and my Kennedy halves would be about four dollars a piece 
That is what I pay for those. So um, what does that net to a piece on my, on those? Five dollars a piece. And how many yeah. do you have in each one of these? There's here? 20. 20 so each 40. one, so 40 total? Yeah, okay. So that would be just 200 for, for And those. then what did it net per piece on the, uh, the BU halves? So that would be $10, and then how many rolls do we have, Casey? Rolls of 20? So that'd be a, a thousand, looks like. So they're ten dollars a piece, and then there's a hundred total there. So a thousand, um, that would be twelve hundred for those. Uh, I'm still kind of looking into maybe if there's some specialty bars in there, but most of the time right now, even with impaired or a little bit hazy, which looks like there's some of them there, I'm paying about twenty nine times or twenty nine dollars a piece for those. Um, just because once again, if anything happens in the market, if it comes down a little bit, I try to. Uh, I have to sit on some stuff until I sell it. So, 20, 60. 20 roll. Yep, 20 per roll. Like this you do is magic because uh, well, what we do normally most times is I handle like the numismatic type of stuff, like what we talked about, and then Casey's more of handling the bullion. So, if we have a local customer that's interested, Casey likes to uh, you know reach out to them and sell them stuff. And I've met a few people from our church that like to buy bullion, so that uh, that has helped us out a little bit. So. Especially doing it local because then you don't have to do the shipping and all that, right? Yeah. Plus, you know, it's like often when you're buying it, you know, you get nervous about shipping stuff in the mail and all that. Right. It's so much nicer. You had to come here and just, yeah, deal with it. Yeah. Because you know? I had a few items where I'm, they actually got mailed to neighbors' houses instead of my house. Oh, and, wow. <laughs> yeah. Some nice Morgans that are key dates. <laughs> I'm waiting and it's. It's in my neighbor's mailbox, you know, kind of thing. So yeah, that's yeah. happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> key dates, like what? What key dates? I mean, some of, some of them should be signed for. I'm assuming, right? <laughs> you would think. No, no, not that good of shape. These are uh, these are ones. Yes, I'm doing a book. Yeah, and so okay. some better dates. Yeah, I was looking to just fill in the holes. Yeah, the books. I don't buy that high end coins usually. Yeah, you know, yeah, just buy ones that, that look that nice. In, yeah, to, to fill in the holes. Yeah, your basis, and so then they're like, "Hey, can you can you help us out?" You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And often they're so polished, like you see. Yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't even want it. You know, it's like that. That's not even considered a coin anymore. Yeah, well, uh, it's kind of like what Casey was saying is, uh, it's called like a bailout or something. You know, someone are backing into the deal. They instantly know what they had sell it for, so they just buy it for that price. And yeah, I'm glad that uh, you're finding some people that want to work with you like that. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of changing over time, though. It's funny, as, as the prices go up and all, right, like with gold and all, yeah, it's it doesn't happen as much anymore. But, uh, but yeah, that's how I accumulated a lot of what I did. And that's why I have kind of a, I'm kind of combing it back down and trying to focus on some nicer pieces. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you ever need a thousand ounce silver bar, we know where there is one. <laughs> we saw it yesterday, so. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, what they actually do is they put it in uh, a cabinet and customers can come and open the cabinet and it's just sitting right there on the shelf and I'm like Garrett the guy that's there and I said you know like the funny part is that they think they can pick it up and see how far they can go and everybody's you know everybody's ready to go so and he said you make it about five feet and then you go down and it's about 30 feet to the door so there's no reason to even put it in the showcase or anything you I like the numbers. everything here or would you like something yeah I like here? everything you showed me okay yeah so I can work this deal. You can work that deal. Yeah, sure. I mean that's fine. I wrote the prices here, of course. Okay. So I'm just gonna run our numbers because I know I have this set aside, this set aside, this set aside on these numbers, and then I have these numbers that Casey put on here, and I have these numbers that uh, we put on there. So. Okay. So I did 270 times five, which is 1350, plus 145, which is the five ounces here plus 232, which is the eight ounces here, plus 145 for the five ounces here. And then I have 240, 200, and then 1,000. Oh, I was gonna show you guys my, my birthday present. So take a look at this. I'm ready. Uh, so I, I just picked this up. To yourself or from somebody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd never seen this, and I didn't know what this was. And so, you know, so the way dollar bills used to come is in a in a in a bundle, a stack, right? right? Yeah. And so they had the labels on it, and those labels were affixed to like a thin piece of plywood, and then they would they would tape you know the money you know into a 
a bundle, and that's the first bill and the last bill, and the first label and the last label that documents these bills, right? right? All from 1969. So, oh wow, <clears throat> I paid $15 a set. So, one bill with one tag came as a set. So I paid 30. I got 30 <coughs> to get to it, right? Yeah. Which that's reasonable, right? So it's like, all right, but you know. I've never seen it. And I looked it up and they were saying, well, they're very rare because tellers would, would get that all the time and they would just, it's like a wrapper, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. So they it's would trucking. throw the wrappers away. So they're rare today because most tellers threw them away. Yeah. But value, they're not valuable, right? Traditionally, right? I mean, you might be able to find somebody, but, but it's not really something that people would pay. Yeah, kind of collector, like... There's not steam behind the collector value yeah. of it, yeah. So like you said, it's, it's more like something, I'm thinking, maybe frame it and put it in an office. Cool. No, took up enough of you guys' time. You're good, right? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday. Yeah, so. Thanks so much. Uh -huh. yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. As you can see, we bought a few more things in our office. As you can see, it is mostly bullion. Some uh, generic one-outs, a few better. There is a Philharmonic in here somewhere. We move on from the generic. You've got quarters. They're nice. Some of them are uh, cleaned and what have you. There's 20 in a roll. There's two rolls. There's 40 of those. You've got 90% halves, 40% halves, and then you've got common day GSAs. Overall, it was a good experience. We got to meet uh, a genuine person that's local to us. Um, we did some deals. He helped us out. We helped him out. Overall, can't complain another successful coin buy in the office. All right guys, so I wanted to pick our giveaway winner from last video. So what I'm gonna do now is use our link from the previous video, which is right here. And we're gonna put it right into the YouTube link for this random comment picker. Everything is basically, it's gonna be randomized. So anytime that you do the giveaway, it's not me picking or Casey picking, it's just a random comment picker. So we have 244 comments from this past video. We're going to scroll down and we're going to pick our winner. Alright Joe, so thank you so much for commenting and if you want to pick up your giveaway, make sure to just reach out to us on Instagram, which is Akusha Collectibles, or if you want to reach out to us on our email, AkushaCollectibles at gmail.com. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the trade. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe. we got more videos coming out every single week, and we want you guys to be a part. And we will see you guys in the next video.